Because, folks, what would we learn? We learned there's no difference between a black entrepreneur and a white entrepreneur in success, except the black entrepreneur usually doesn't have a lawyer, usually doesn't have someone who is going to be there, an accountant, to get it all set up. Their idea is as profound. The help. Well, that obviously is President Joe Biden. He was in South Carolina today delivering a commencement address to students at South Carolina State University. Uh, but the president is facing a lot of backlash for comments like that and this one that he made during the speech. Listen. If a builder goes out and builds the exact same home with two different sides of an interstate, one in an all-white neighborhood and one in an all-black, the same exact home, the moment the last screw or bolt was put into that home and somebody occupies it, the black home is worth 20 percent less than the white home. Well, joining us now to discuss his longtime advisor to President Trump and senior RNC media surrogate, Bruce Lavelle, one of my favorites. Great to see you, Bruce, on this Friday. Oh, I'm trying to get through this, Heather. <laughs> Happy Friday. Let's let's do this. Yeah, let's go do- ahead. What do, you, what do you make of that today? Well, first of all, my wife and I, we're business owners. Yes, we're entrepreneurs for 28 years. And yes, Heather, we have lawyers. lawyers. (laughs) I have lawyers. I have accountants. I have staff members. And I have many, many more people who look like me who have attorneys also. Mm -hmm. Just for the record. I just want to put that there. So was that offensive to you? Well, listen, when I first saw that, at first I thought, okay, is this, are they trying to get a SNL skit ready for Saturday Night Live? You know, I literally had to pinch myself. But then, Heather, once again, let's let's go back to the real talk, you and I. You and I have talked about this earlier on when Joe Biden took over the White House. And I said this, and I keep saying this on multiple shows, that this man is not well. And it's just a matter of time. And I said this before, you and Bob were on here, I think a couple weeks ago. I said it's a matter of time before he keeps going and keeps going. He's going to really slip out and say some really harsh incendiary comments that the public is just, you think they're gasping now, Heather? OMG, wait. And it's not only that, it's also, I don't know what you call it, misremembering or I don't know if it's intentionally trying to, um, you know, spread what we know are false stories, including this one that he repeated yet again today that he helped desegregate restaurants and movie theaters during the civil rights movement. Listen. As I sat in a black church after going to seven o'clock mass, I'm a cap- practicing Catholic at 10 o'clock on the east side, get ready to go out and desegregate restaurants and movie theaters. But yet, at the, at the same time, he also went on, he talked about this. Uh, Biden himself admitted to this uh, back in 1987. Listen. I was not an activist. <laughs> I worked at an all-black swimming pool in the east side of Wilmington, Delaware. I was involved. I was involved in what, what they were thinking, what they were feeling. I was involved, but I was not out marching. I was not down in Selma. Which is it? What, what is it? The, this last comment he said, because my family members, my uncles and everything who marched with my dear sister Alvita King and her father and many of them, we know who were out there as it relates to public officials, just for the record. So he is, that is where he's telling the truth. The other part about when he was at the swimming pool he's, is what he quotes said, the little black kids would come up and see the little hairs on his ankle. And y- y'all aired this on news back. That reel is out there also, Heather. Yeah. So that last... That's who he really is. But listen, once again, Newsmax viewers, go visit some memory care centers. This is only the beginning. I, you know, I, I hate to say this where we're going to be in the next quarter with this sitting president. And listen, everyone's laughing. Everyone's like, what in the world? Just like we see it, Sister Heather. Right. Our foreign adversaries from Russia, China, all over the world are watching this also. Yeah. So Jill Biden, if you're watching this show right now, and I hope this gets over to Jen Psaki, what I'm about to say, in the name of Jesus, would you please go rescue this man from the Oval Office and stop this? Because this is really, really not good for this man. It really, truly isn't. Well, don't know if what would be coming after him is much better, but he does keep referring to the vice president as President Harris, and he did that again today as well. Uh, So we'll see. Bruce, thank you so much for breaking it down for us. Appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me, Heather. (laughs) Have a great weekend.